when we talk about technology, we tend to talk about it as this blue sky opportunity. It could go any direction. And I want to get serious for a moment and tell you why it's going in a very specific direction. Because it's not evolving randomly. There's a hidden goal driving the direction of all of the technology we make. And that goal is the race for our attention. People should be happy that we're a little bit scared of this. If I said I were not, you should either not trust me or be very unhappy I'm in this job. In today's tech and AI world, the appeal of new gadgets and apps can distract us from how tech companies may be manipulating us. Through clever marketing and subtle data collection, these giants can sway our behavior and decisions without us realizing it. This video will reveal some of the ways tech companies shape our choices and collect our data. Let's get started. Misleading advertising and technology claims. The story of Wolfgang von Kempelen and his mechanical Turk serves as a cautionary tale about the deceptive allure of technology. Back in 1770, Kempelen's chess playing machine dazzled audiences across Europe with its apparent ability to outsmart human opponents, including notable figures like Napoleon and Benjamin Franklin. However, the truth eventually came to light. It wasn't the machine playing chess at all, but a person hidden inside manipulating the movements. When we see advertisements for new gadgets or services, they often make bold promises about how advanced and effortless they are. Take Amazon's Just Walk Out system, for example. In 2016, Amazon introduced this checkout system with much fanfare, claiming it used fancy technology like AI to let customers skip the checkout lines entirely. Sounds amazing, right? Well, it wasn't exactly as high-tech as they made it seem. You see, Amazon's Just Walk Out system wasn't entirely run by computers and robots. Instead, behind the scenes, there were a thousand people in India manually checking and labeling videos to make sure everything went smoothly. These workers were the ones making sure customers were correctly charged for the items they took from the store. So while Amazon said it was all about AI and futuristic technology, a big part of it was still humans doing the work. What's more, Amazon didn't tell us the full story right away. It wasn't until 2023, several years later, that they admitted to using these human workers. This kind of advertising, where they highlight the cool technology, but leave out the important details about humans doing the heavy lifting, is what we call misleading. But Amazon isn't the only one playing these games. According to a report from The Information, many other places, like stores, stadiums, airports, and even a university, were using Amazon's tech without knowing the full story. They thought they were getting this amazing AI-driven system, but in reality, humans were working behind the scenes to make it all happen. So why does this matter? Well, when companies use misleading advertising and hype up their technology, it can trick us into thinking things are more advanced or seamless than they are. It's like promising a self-driving car that's being controlled by a hidden driver. It's not what we signed up for. The lesson here is simple. When you see those flashy ads or hear about cutting edge tech, take it with a grain of salt. Ask questions and dig a little deeper to find out what's going on behind the scenes. After all, we deserve to know the truth about the technology we're using and not be fooled by misleading claims. But this is not the only way tech companies are fooling us. There's another way that seems to be the most popular and common one among them, AI washing. In the not so distant past, before 2022, the term artificial intelligence was mainly confined to technical jargon found in specialized research papers. For most people, it was a distant concept, hardly relevant to their daily lives. Even when GPT-3 was introduced in 2021, many dismissed its abilities as a novelty. How could a machine generate human-like text? However, after 2022, especially with the launch of ChatGPT, everything changed. Suddenly, AI became a thing, proudly advertised by countless companies and institutions. From social media apps on your phone to professional networking sites like LinkedIn and even government websites, the phrase powered by AI seems to be everywhere. This widespread adoption of AI terminology, however, led to a phenomenon known as AI washing. Simply put, AI washing occurs when companies exaggerate or even falsify claims about the capabilities of their AI technologies to attract investment or gain market advantage. According to data from Goldman Sachs, a staggering 36% of S&P 500 companies mentioned AI in their Q4 earnings reports, reflecting a global trend. This hype has trickled down to smaller companies, 
eager to ride the AI wave, often without concrete results to back up their claims. The surge in AI investments mirrors this hype. Between 2015 and 2022, global corporate spending on AI skyrocketed by a factor of seven. Many businesses experienced significant growth during this period, fueled by AI-driven innovations. Consequently, companies felt pressured to integrate AI into their operations, whether or not it truly enhanced their products or services. Unfortunately, this follow-the-leader mentality has led to instances of outright deception. Take the case of Delia, a Canadian investment first firm that falsely touted its AI capabilities for predicting market trends. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, intervened, penalizing Delia for misleading investors with baseless claims about their AI technology. This incident is likely just the tip of the iceberg. Similar deceit occurred with Wirecard, where CEO Marcus Brown misrepresented the company's use of advanced AI in its financial technology offerings. The truth was far less glamorous. Basic spreadsheets were used. Ultimately, Wirecard faced a $2 billion shortfall, revealing the dangers of unchecked AI hype in the corporate world. Meanwhile, the emergence of neural processing units, NPUs, specialized processors tailored for AI tasks, has promised a new era of AI integration in everyday computing devices like PCs and laptops. Microsoft even declared the arrival of the AI PC. However, consumer experiences with early NPU-equipped devices have been less than stellar. Reviews have highlighted shortcomings and unmet expectations, leaving consumers dissatisfied. Despite the enthusiasm around AI-driven hardware, Current implementations have yet to deliver the transformative experiences envisioned by industry leaders. The road to practical and effective AI integration in consumer technology is proving to be longer and more challenging than anticipated. This leads us to the next point, Gartner hype cycle. Tech companies have a long history of latching on to the excitement around new technologies, promising groundbreaking advancements that often fail to live up to the hype. One common strategy they employ to maintain interest in investment is the Gartner hype cycle, a model that illustrates the typical moment of expectations surrounding emerging technologies. The Gartner hype cycle outlines a pattern that begins with the peak of inflated expectations and then descends into the trough of disillusionment before climbing up the slope of enlightenment and finally reaching the plateau of productivity. This cycle reflects the journey of how technologies are initially overhyped followed by a period of disappointment, and eventually mature into useful applications. In the context of artificial intelligence, we are currently witnessing this pattern play out. AI was hailed as the next big thing that would revolutionize industries and transform daily life. Tech giants and startups alike made grand promises about AI's capabilities to solve complex problems and automate tasks previously thought impossible. The media echoed these sentiments, portraying AI as a game changer. However, as time progressed, the reality of AI's limitations became apparent. Many AI projects failed to deliver on their lofty promises, encountering issues with accuracy, scalability, and ethical implications. Some applications turned out to be more hype than substance, with AI algorithms exhibiting biases and unintended consequences. This disillusionment has led to a more sober assessment of AI's potential, transitioning from exaggerated optimism to a more grounded understanding of its capabilities and challenges. A clear example of this phenomenon can be seen in the field of autonomous vehicles. Companies like Tesla generated immense excitement around self-driving cars, promising a future where commuting would be safer, more efficient, and entirely hands-free. The media covered every development with enthusiasm, painting a picture of a world where roads would be dominated by intelligent machines. However, despite significant progress in autonomous vehicle technology, the journey towards fully self-driving cars has been slower and more fraught with challenges than initially anticipated. High-profile accidents involving autonomous vehicles raised concerns about safety and liability. Regulatory hurdles, technological limitations, and societal acceptance have all contributed to a more tempered outlook on the timeline and feasibility of widespread autonomous vehicle adoption. As a result, the narrative around AI and autonomous vehicles has shifted from unbridled optimism to a deeper perspective. While the potential benefits of these technologies remain substantial, 
there is a growing recognition of the complexity and limitations involved in their development and deployment. Tech companies continue to leverage the Gartner hype cycle to navigate these shifts in perception. By strategically managing expectations and showcasing incremental progress, they aim to sustain interest and investment in emerging technologies. However, a different issue arises regarding the promises made about AI's role. Instead of simply replacing humans, AI is envisioned as an assistant that would augment human capabilities and create new opportunities. Yet reality paints a different picture. The truth about AI taking over jobs. Although AI aids in personal tasks like those with ChatGPT, the notion of AI creating more jobs than it displaces might be overblown. Tech-related layoffs have been on the rise since 2022, with explanations ranging from pandemic-related overhiring to broader shifts. This trend has led experts like marketing professor Scott Galloway to suggest that AI plays a larger role in layoffs than CEOs acknowledge openly. It's not just about direct job replacements, but about companies restructuring operations to achieve more with fewer employees, leveraging AI capabilities. The disconnect lies in CEOs hyping up AI's transformative potential while downsizing staff due to AI adoption. Major companies like IBM and UPS have hinted at AI's role in workforce reductions, only to retract statements later to manage public perception. The narrative that AI won't replace humans, but those who use AI will replace those who don't, reveals a broader paradigm shift. This transformation is already underway, with tech giants like Meta and Alphabet reducing hiring and workforce size, favoring experienced AI specialists over junior staff for efficiency gains. According to McKinsey, around 12 million U.S. workers may need to switch jobs by 2030 due to AI. The impact is disproportionately higher on lower-wage workers. Although some sectors like STEM and healthcare will see job growth, others like customer service and office support face significant change due to AI. While optimistic projections hype AI's potential to create millions of jobs and boost GDP, the reality is more complex. History shows that opportunities can vanish unexpectedly, raising questions about who benefits and who's left behind in this evolving landscape. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.